guys? Welcome to Bath and Shower Tile Ideas episode 22. This one is called Tiny Bathroom Design. We'll show you some uh, before and after photos, some progress photos, as well as some progress video clips. And then we'll do a quick walkthrough and talk about the material used, tile, layout, waterproofing, um, and what we basically use for this bath and shower remodel. So here we go. We'll talk about the floor. Installed here was an eight by eight porcelain tile. This tile is supposed to resemble that handmade concrete glazed tile, but this is better because it's much more durable, doesn't stain, doesn't chip, doesn't scratch. Um, so again, eight by eight porcelain decorative tile here. We have a 1 16th inch grout line here. Oyster gray is the color for the grout on this floor. And the grout is Prism by Custom. That's the make of the grout. The floor turned out great. A Couple of things to mention before we get going on the shower. We installed a new toilet here. Installed a new pedestal sink as well. Again, this is a very small area, so you have to make do with small items like pedestal sinks, small toilets, we installed baseboard as well. So customer will be doing some more drywall work and paint, things like that. Let's take a look at the shower. The shower turned out great. It's a subway ceramic tiled shower. Okay, so let's start with the tub. The tub is original. This house is very old, uh, over 100 years old. This is a cast iron tub. They like the tub, so the tub stayed. We were responsible for demo prep, waterproof, tile, and obviously new valve and trim kit. So let's talk about the field wall tile here. Installed was a four by 12 matte finish ceramic. One 16th inch grout lines. We installed it at a 50% offset like you should with this type of tile. You've got a grout line starting right at the middle Everything is symmetrical on both sides of the walls. As you can see here, we started with folds and halves and ran it through. Grout line in the middle, again, folds and halves on this side. So yeah, four by 12 matte finished ceramic. We used a tile leveling system on this entire build, LevTech. As you can see, extremely flat walls. Uh, real briefly, I forgot to mention, prep and waterproof, this is a full Schluter system shower. We've got Schluter curdy board on the walls. Schluter waterproofing as well. Very easy, quick seal system for waterproofing. All right, let's take a look at this small little bench. Again, originally this tub and this opening is a lot bigger than 60 inches. There was a small little bench here framed originally. So what we installed was three quarter inch quartz, as you can see there. We've got quartz for the small bench top. As you can see, we mitered the two corners right here. Let's take a look at the shampoo niche. Again, we use quartz for the sill and the perimeter of the niche. That turned out very nice. We've got mosaic in the back of the niche as well. As you can see, nice, clean, 
tight, square corners in the niche. Guys, don't ever let your grout build up in these corners here. Clean it out, make it square. The niche turned out wonderful. Everything is symmetrical as well. So we've got quartz for the niche sill and perimeter, quartz for the little bench top as well. And then also we trim the window out with the quartz also. As you can see here, there's the shower head. We installed a new valve and trim kit by Delta. And again, there's your valve, trim kit, spigot. Let's talk about the trim edging to cut the cut ends of the ceramic. We used Schluter Rondek PVC. Again, this is a very inexpensive, low profile, low maintenance trim. Rather than having 12 inch pieces of ceramic and horizontal grout lines along this entire edge of the wall, this is a seamless, low profile look. Again, by Schluter, it's called Rondek. I believe you can pick this up at any tile specialty store. Lowe's carries this as well. And again, trim edging on this side. So there you guys have it. Bath and Shower Tile Ideas episode 22. The shower turned out great, extremely clean. The customer is very happy, we are pleased. This build took approximately a week. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comment below. As usual, thanks for watching guys. I'll see you on the next one.